Yeah, so snare so right now I'm getting too much like and not enough douche. So I gotta go get, uh, start cleaning that out and keep building it. It's not coming from the snare bottom. Some of it is not the exact frequency that, that was bugging me, but it's it's time to work on this a bit. The snare bottom is more this little little F five hundred pop that here it's bugging me. I can't take too much of that out because it's part of the of the punch. Just the little excess of it that's bugging me. And I could smack this a bit more. Hmm. This thing's got a bit of smack. Just just to make it a bit meaner. It, this is on auto compensate right now. This one's not as bad, doesn't give it tons of extra gain. See, now I, I dropped this 500 frequency, now I got something at like four, maybe. This is up now. I'll do that with a dynamic EQ though, just to keep some of the attack. I don't want to take it out completely, I just want to take out most of it, but I want to keep a, sh a quick impression of it. go too crazy on this or else we're gonna completely thin out the drums so okay and the compressor is a bit like harsh right now so snare sounding a bit like like knocky a little bit like Kuh! instead of douche you know there's too much like Kuh! on it so i gotta find a way to like fix that initial transient it's too chunky okay, so i could probably go check my compressor in the channel I could shorten the attack, 30 milliseconds, that's it, yeah. So from 20 to 30 to 20, a bit smoother. I wouldn't do too much from here, because I can get a bunch of comps, a bunch of uh, other compressors that all um, have a nice, like, really modern, quick attack. I can do biggest fan of the distressor. I rarely choose it as a first as a first comp, but it it does have it is like pretty quick. Yeah. 